Hello everyone, my name is the Reverend Brian Blair. I am the priest here at St. Mark's Episcopal Chapel, set on the campus of Yukon in Storrs, Connecticut. I'm here with my best friend, Jesus Christ, coming to you today to tell you all about reopening here at St. Mark's. That's true. Uh, Jesus wanted to make sure that I mentioned to you that we are not wearing masks, Jesus and I. We normally do, but uh, we don't have to. Not because of me, but obviously, that's true, that's true. Uh, so, we just wanted to explain to you about what reopening will look like here at St. Mark's and to reassure people that we are doing the best we can to take care of everyone's safety and well-being. On September 6th, we will be having church services once again inside the building. We have had church services in what we've called drive-in church since Easter and that has gone very well. But with the weather changing, it's time for us to move back inside. And so we have developed a plan to do our best to make sure people are safe and sound. One part of that plan is to make sure that we clean the space as well as possible so that each time we come to church, the area will be disinfected and will be ready for use. That's true. Right. Jesus would like me to point out that we have a great person here at the church already named Juan. That's right, John the Baptist, John Juan. Uh, sometimes we reminisce. So John is uh, what we call a sexton here in the Episcopal Church, going back to our Anglican roots. Some people might say that that's our handyman. Juan does a great job cleaning and he has been retrained so that he could do an even better job cleaning as we all go through this time of dealing with a pandemic. So when people come to church on Sunday, there is a set of rules and regulations we're asking people to follow so that everyone can stay safe. And when they enter the building, they should know that they are safe and sound because we've done the best that we can to make sure the area is clean and ready for use. During the week, we will still be renting to people who might need space. Uh, because of that, we want to make sure that when people show up on Sunday and when people rent the space, uh, the area is as clean as possible. We have designated a number of places throughout the church building as off limits because we want to make sure that people are staying safely socially distanced and so that we can manage the spaces that are being used and make sure that everything is as clean as possible. To ensure everyone's safety, being in church is by invitation only. We will have a space or two reserved in case we have a walk-in, which of course we always welcome. But we would like everyone, please, to make sure that you are communicating with the office to let us know when you will be coming to church. You should be on our email list and we'll send you an invitation. We hope you will reply to that invitation quickly so we can create a kind of guest list. Our ushers will meet people at the door and ask them to use hand sanitizer and make sure everyone is wearing a mask. And then at the 10 a.m. service, we will have both an eight and a 10. And the eight here traditionally has been one where there is no music and we will continue that tradition. And the 10 is one where there typically is music and we will continue that tradition as well. But the people singing will only be soloists in our uh, choir loft. And so everyone who can hum along or imagine themselves singing along or meditate to the music, which of course will be as superb as it always is here at St. Mark's. Ushers will invite parishioners to be seated only in specific places that will be pre-planned before our guests enter the building. And on our way out, everyone will be going out in a socially distanced manner. Here at St. Mark's, our first priority is your safety. If people aren't safe, then we can't pray together. We want to make sure that everyone's safe so that we can pray together. We hope that in this very uncertain time, when people's anxiety is reasonably escalated, we want to do our best here at St. Mark's to make people feel at peace, to be welcome, and to find a time to pray. We hope that you will contact us if you have any questions. And we are looking forward to seeing you in the church, safe and sound, as we all pray together once again. Right, right. And Jesus, of course, asked me to let you know that he says goodbye. <laughs>